Hello, my name is Conchi Lazaro. I am the director of the Molecular Diagnosis Unit of the Hereditary Cancer Program. We work at the Catalan Institute of Oncology, ICO, a public comprehensive cancer center leading in cancer care in Catalonia, Spain. Today, we are here to present you our paper entitled Equamplicon NGS Data Analysis, a web tool for variant detection in common high-risk hereditary cancer genes analyzed by Amplicon GS Junior Next Generation Sequencing. The past two years have seen an enormous shift in the field of genetic testing, due mainly to the implementation of Next Generation Sequencing NGS methodologies in medium scale or benchtop sequencers. One of the critical steps when using these instruments is the interpretation of the enormous quantity of data, which underlines the need of bioinformatic tools for better to interpret results and to facilitate the implementation of NGS in routine laboratories. Since the acquisition of a GS Junior sequencer in our unit, we developed an NGS workflow for the molecular diagnosis of hereditary cancer syndromes. We have refined the analysis pipeline and now we present a free web tool that allows others users to run the bioinformatic analysis of their own data. Our algorithm detects and filters sequence variants, providing coverage information and allowing the user to customize some of the basic parameters. The identified variants are classified according to our e-commutation database, providing a putative pathogenicity classification of all variants identified in our call of patients. We hope that our tool will provide invaluable support to users of this platform for hereditary cancer syndromes. In this video, we show all the steps of our pipeline with a special emphasis in the bioinformatic analysis. I hope you will enjoy it. The web tool has been designed to analyze data obtained from Multiplicom libraries run in a GS Junior. These are commercial multiplex Amplicon libraries that target the high-risk genes for the most common hereditary cancer syndromes. In order to run the bioinformatic data analysis, we should connect to the web application address. Once it's open, select the gene analysis required and upload parameters and data. First, fill in the run name. Then, upload the image as a text file. Indicate the commercial kit used. And choose the thresholds for coverage and variant filtering. Finally, upload read data in FASTA and quality file. Enter the email address to receive the results notification. And press the run button and wait for the email. The bioinformatics pipeline includes different steps as represented in this figure. Reads uploaded by the web tool are pre-processed, then multiplexed and trimmed. Then, reads are aligned by BWA MEM algorithm. From the alignment file, bar scan is used for variant calling, and by our commands, variant and coverage reports are generated and zipped to download by users. The user receives a zip file with the alignments and the report files. We'll now show the main ones. The variant report is a comma-separated file listing the variants that remain after filtering. Each variant is described by its position, base change and several parameters, including, if already in our ECO database, its putative pathogenicity. The Amplicon MIT coverage file lists the main coverage for each Amplicon and MIT which are also represented after normalization to indicate putative large rearrangements. Variants can be assessed by looking at the alignments on any free visualizer like IGB. Here we show a single nucleotide substitution and here a four base pair deletion. Thank you for your attention. For any question you can contact us by the web tool desk.